Wait, 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 wait. Yes, it's me, it's me. <laughs> it's me, it's the same old me, yes. Hi, I'm Isra. Welcome to my channel and I'm so excited for today's video. I believe you can guess what this video is about just by looking at me. Okay, the title already tells it out. In today's video, I'm going to do a get ready with me whilst I talk to you and share my experiences with you as an international student living in Hungary. I hope you enjoy it and I hope you stick and stay through to the end of the video. If you're a new subscriber, I'd just like to specially welcome you from the bottom of my heart and say thank you and God richly bless you. If you're a returning subscriber, mm, 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 guys, I'm so happy you're back here. Please do well to like, comment, and if you've not yet subscribed, kindly, kindly click on the subscribe button and make sure you turn on your notifications so that each and every time I upload a banging, banging video, you'd be the first to see it. by moisturizing my face with just cocoa butter and yeah so today's video would be a get ready with me video as you may have seen from the title it's just a simple makeup look um I still consider myself an amateur makeup person I can't even draw my brows I can't even draw my brows well most times <laughs> but today we're just going to get along with it, ride along with it, and see how it goes. So, of course, I've uh, been a student in Hungary for a couple of years, and I must say, it's been quite an experience. So I started by coming out my brows and shaping it. Then I go in with my black pencil. And one thing I would like to talk about first would be the language. So the language here is known as the Hungarian language. Okay, so Hungary has a population of about 10 million people. The capital Budapest, where I'm currently staying, has a population of about 2 million people. And the language spoken here is Hungarian and is considered one of the most difficult languages in the world. Yes, so the good thing about this is that we did not have to study in Hungarian. <laughs> you could, we could go get along with English. My school offered English courses. I mean, all our courses were taught in English, so we didn't really have to struggle so much. Because I know there are some countries where you have to like study the language of the country for say a year or two or whatever before you actually start the course for which you came to the country for. But over here, thankfully, it was not like that. All my lectures were in English, practicals were in English, my theories were in English. Like everything was practically in the English language. So it was good. Like it gave me an advantage also because I'm coming from Ghana and English is our official language. So I sort of had an upper hand. Like I could really articulate and understand so many more things compared to maybe a student who did not have English as their first language. So that's one thing that I would like to talk about. Also, you may ask, so how did I get by when I'm going to the supermarkets, shops, hospitals, banks? Like, how did you get by? So the thing is, when you go to a shop, you just usually have to pick up what you want to buy. You just go to the teller and you pay. <laughs> You can pay with your cash or with your card. So you should just try to know your currency as well because 100 in Ghana is 100 in Hungary. I mean, the number 100 is the same. So you just have to know how to count your money well and all of that or pay with your card. And also in situations where you're not able to articulate yourself well, you can use Google Translate, which may not always be the best because Google Translate doesn't really always give the right translations of what it is you want to buy or what it is you want to talk about so google translates also that you can also point it out or you show a picture to <laughs> the person you show a picture of what you want to the person and then they will be like oh we have it. we don't have but it's also important to know how to get along with the basics you know like the good mornings good afternoons i like to buy this i like to buy that like those things are important to get along with i think those are actually important things to get along in every country like yeah so good morning here is your girl dude 
afternoon is with you on a pod and yeah i hope i, I got it right so and um, i had the opportunity to <laughs> take a course in the language i think i took a beginner class because my school actually offered classes in hungarian like it was part of the credit you could get credits for it for your total credits at the end of the year at the end of your school year so in my final year i actually took a beginner class in hungarian that was one whole semester and it was really good like i really learned a lot the numbers sentences how to say i'm going to school like basic basic sentences but the thing is <laughs> i haven't really got to practice it more and also one of the th things i also used to do when i was trying to learn the language was I'm not saying I can't speak it, no, 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 please, far from that. I'm still struggling with it, honestly. Because sometimes you have to practice and if you can get by with English, sometimes you're not so motivated to learn it. But I also watch a lot of YouTube videos, like so many videos on YouTube you can learn from, from school as well. You can also get the language to go by. But it wasn't much and it still isn't much of a hassle because you can get by pretty much with English as well. So after um, applying my black pencil to draw my outlines, I filled out my eyes with the brown pencil as you may have seen. Sorry, I didn't mention it. And I'm just blending it out with my brush. So I do that, do that, do that, do that, do that. So I think I get what I want. Now the next thing, I'd like to talk about as a student here was the accommodation so I wouldn't say I struggled much with accommodation because when I came in here the school my school had a hostel or dormitory okay so it made provisions for me to register for the dorms even when I was still not yet here so I registered I registered for a room in my dorm and so when I came here, I stayed in the dormitory for an, a year. Okay, so it's good because you can stay in the dorm for a year. Because when you're coming into a new place, you don't really know what's going on, how everything is going to be. So it's better to have a stable accommodation. You know, once you have a stable place to sleep, you can now think and focus on other things. So that really helped a lot. So I stayed in the dorm for a year. It was a two in a room, um, something. It was, yeah, my room was two people in a room. I had a lovely roommate from Azerbaijan and i stayed there for a year and then after a year me and my friend we decided to just go and like rent a flat and then we shared the cost and we pay of course we're students you don't expect me to buy a two-bedroom flat or rent out rent a full no 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 you just look at your budget and then you plan accordingly so we did that got a nice um place we actually also had a nice landlord and so I also stayed there for some time. We shared the cost, we paid and everything. And I think I should issue a disclaimer here because everything I'm saying now is my experiences. I've actually spoken to some colleagues of mine and their experiences were totally different from mine. So I'm not saying that this is the blueprint or this is the straight jacket for every person who is here, but this is actually what I actually went through when I came here. So yes, so that's the thing about the accommodation. So now I'm just going in with my NYX concealer. <laughs> I'm doing anything, anything, hopefully it works. So I just try to conceal under the eye. So um, finding accommodation after I had left the hostel wasn't so difficult, I would say, because there are countless number of Facebook groups, countless, like hundreds and hundreds if you should even take your phone right now and then Google accommodation in Hungary, <laughs> you are going to see so many groups pop up. And so you join those groups and then from there you can like find out the type of build, like you actually have pictures of the rooms, of the bathroom, kitchen, if it's a shared facility, they tell you the number of people living there and all of that, all of that, all of that. I've had people I've seen like, stories where people were given accommodation, but they got there and then the landlord looked at them and then changed their minds. And also some of my male friends complained that it's sometimes difficult for them to find accommodations. And even some female friends of mine have told me that they actually had 
like arrange an accommodation with someone like a landlord they could, and then the landlord like literally changed his mind last minute i don't know if he finally so i don't know but yeah but thankfully that hasn't been my experience i've had very very accommodating landlords even till dates where i'm currently staying the landlord is such a nice person i really like her so much <laughs> She even asked me the last time if I wanted wine, so she brings me wine, like she's cool like that. So, the thing is, it's just your experiences and what am I doing? <laughs> so, so that's the thing about the accommodation. And also, usually you pay your rent each and every month. In Ghana, I didn't used to rent in Ghana, hello, but in Ghana, we you usually pay your rent like two years. <laughs> you pay an advance of two years. Which has its advantages and also disadvantages. Advantage is that once you pay it, you can sleep. You don't have to think about paying rent every month. But here you pay your rent every month. And also before you are rented out an apartment, you are asked to pay a one month deposit, which is usually the full price of the apartment. So let's say you are getting an apartment for a monthly rent of 120,000 for rent. You are moving in. So if you are to pay a one month deposit, so you pay 120,000 plus that that rent for that month so you pay a total of 240,000 for it some also take a two month deposit yes so you may end up paying about 360,000 for it now the reason why they take the deposit is like a security deposit so that when it's time for you to leave in case you have damaged something damaged windows stove whatever they can just deduct it from your deposit and give you what is left of the money otherwise if you live peacefully there without any issues you can get your full amount when it's time for you to go so that's the little thing about accommodation here so you just pay everything at the end of each month you pay your rent and then you know you're done till the next month <laughs> so that's also one thing about being a student and living here now the third thing or the next thing is the fact that there are a lot of student discounts in this country. It's one of the most important student discounts or one of the ones I really loved the most was the um, discount on transportation. I think I mentioned in my last video on the five things I love about living in Budapest, I like the accommodation because it was quite efficient and very timely. Yes, and when you're a student, you actually have student discounts. Not just on transportation, I mean, but on other things. So, if you're a student, you have to, you can buy a monthly bus pass which takes you anywhere within Budapest or within whatever city you are in for the whole month. Okay. Now, for the bus pass, students have a discount. So, you pay like one third of the original price of the bus pass is a good deal i think like once you're a student like and you can prove you're a student <laughs> you don't pay the full price of the bus pass i think the bus pass cost is it ten thousand four hundred or about for a full month but if you're a student you pay about three thousand four hundred and fifty which is about a third of what you have to pay aside that also when you're a student and you're going to places like the swimming pool, recreational parks, um, the zoo, like anywhere that you can have fun at. Students also have discounts. Like you, you just pay less. <laughs> you don't pay the full price, you pay less, you have some form of discount. And I hear in some restaurants as well, students have discounts, but I haven't been to any of those restaurants. But that's one thing which is really, really like amazing 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 about i try to blend it as much as i can but hello i can't come and kill myself so at this point i'm going to apply my foundation i actually bought two shades of this foundation this one was too light this one was too dark so i just mix the two and i get a perfect color for my skin honestly i've had compliments from people telling me i really don't need makeup honestly i believe that's true, but sometimes you just want to try your hands at something. Like, as you constantly do something, you can learn. I never went to a makeup school. Everything I'm doing on my face, so just sometimes try your luck. And maybe some things I see people do on YouTube, 
and other stuff, stuff, stuff. So like I say, <laughs> I ain't no makeup artist. I am just trying. And I'm also trying to do this get ready with me so that the video will be more interactive. What? Why is this thing not coming? Because I have quite a few sit down videos on the channel where I just sit down and talk, 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 talk. Mm. I don't want you guys to feel like you're in a classroom all the time. <laughs> So today is just a get ready with me where I take you through my makeup routine, like what I do when I'm making up. I actually think that makeup is like food. <laughs> it's the end result that matters. It doesn't matter what you do. Once the end justifies the means, you're good to go. It doesn't matter how you do it. If you apply concealer before foundation, foundation before primer, whatever you do, it's the end result I believe that matters. So I blending blending like blending everything I have a spray bottle I actually use for my natural hair sometimes I spray directly on my face or onto my beauty blender yes my beauty blender has seen better days leave it alone it is about to retire <laughs> so um I just blend 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 so that's the thing yeah so when you're a student here you enjoy so many discounts which is very good I don't remember enjoying such in Ghana, but this is very good. Like, even irrespective of whether you're an international student or you're from here or from the EU, you get to enjoy discount as a student. Now, the next thing would be food. <laughs> of course, you will not get your food like your home country. But there are several shops, the, like Asian shops, but we call them African shops. Maybe the Africans sometimes call them African shops because you can go there and get some African stuff. Like neat fufu, we have neat bangkun, we have egusi, I don't know that for Nigerians, crayfish, tilapia, okra, yam, plantain, beans, like, so most of the time, if you want something that tastes like when we go there and we get it and then you come and you cook it yeah i've tried several hungarian meals but one of the meals i like the most when i try was the goulash goulash is soup but it has everything in it <laughs> it has potatoes beans in it carrot whatever whatever but no i think the one i really enjoyed was fish soup also known as halash halash lay Oh, hello, Slay. I'll check. <laughs> so it's fish soup, and I really liked it because it tasted so much like Ghanaian soup. Like it tasted. The only thing that was left was the pepper. But luckily, we were saved. Um, we had extra pepper on the table, so I just added so much pepper. <laughs> I was just like, my friend was like, why so? I'm like, I need so much pepper. Like, so that's one of the meals I enjoyed. There's also the langosh the cheese shaitosh like i noticed the hungarians eat bread with almost so many things i think maybe it's a, a, an european thing like bread with soup bread with rice bread with everything like like bread is like a side dish or whatever i don't really like bread if i get it i eat but if i don't have it i won't go and buy to eat i don't know the last time i ate bread honestly <laughs> so that's one thing i noticed and I also noticed there's a lot of cheese in their meals. So much cheese, like, I don't know, it's like, I think like the way stew is for us, that's what cheese is for them. I may be wrong, but I noticed there's a lot of cheese in their meals. Like when I go for lunch with my colleagues, there's cheese somewhere, melted cheese, whatever. And all over. So, yeah. So the thing about food is there's a few African shops here. I think the makeup is blending out nice. What do you guys think? Uh, I need to do something about the shop lines and whatnot. But it's generally good, 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 good. Honestly, like I was saying, it is makeup. I didn't go to makeup school. My mother is not a makeup artist. My father, mm -mm. Yeah. I am just doing what works for me. <laughs> oh, goodness. So, that's the thing. Like, the food here you can make the best of what you have they have rice like they have no more things you get in the supermarket so whatever you want that you're gonna get you can get it from the african shop 
yeah but it's not the same because sometimes charlie the smell pakushito would give to your food <laughs> the smell alone of pakushito or aquile wabi these are like kinds of peppers in ghana like it gives it a different smell all along but you may not get the exact same kind of pepper but you have something similar so you make do with them so most of the time i just like to cook most of the things i eat cook my own food and then if there's something i want to try out i just get it but food is not so expensive here you can go on a decent date and you won't spend much so that's also one thing that I think it's cool about this place. It's not too expensive. Like I think what is Tangri I actually have one of the lowest cost of living in, in Europe. So most of the other Europeans like to come here to buy stuff. Or when they come here and they are buying stuff and then they compare. They're like wow. Actually Hungary doesn't use the Euro. It has its own currency, the Hungarian foreign. I'll try and paste the exchange rate compared to some other major currencies on the screen. And then you would see what it looks like. And then the next thing I would like to talk about is the people. The people. I've, I've mentioned this in my last um, video on the Hungarian thing, like why I like living here. And I would like to say that in every country, in every city, there are nice people and there are also not so nice people. So it's basically the same here. There are nice people and there are also not so nice people. There are some people who don't understand what you are doing in their country, <laughs> why you are studying in their schools and all of that. And there are some who are so welcoming, like they literally want to touch you. They literally want to feel your skin. They literally want to know where you're from. I remember I met one gentleman. I think I was on my way from work. I was on my way from the market. Or I was on my way from school. And then he saw me. was like, hello. Where are you from? America. I'm like, nope. Nem, nem. Ghana, you for shock. Like, I'm Ghanaian. Then I told him, like, ooh. Like, someone to know and... Uh, like interested in knowing where you're coming from and all of that all of that all of that some are friendly so yeah i think i have blended it out well i'm actually using my phone as my mirror most of the time and if anything at all i think i would just like to correct the highlighted parts sorry if i'm not looking like i'm looking at you i'm just trying to use my phone as my whatever whatever you know i always I've been buying this translucent powder thing with my mouth for the past three or one year. Like I know I need to get translucent powder to bake, to roast my face, to grill my face or whatever. But I haven't for days. And the last time, I got myself powder for some reason and I tried to bake with it. So I'm going to apply this powder under my eye. Let's see if it works. So I'm just what I'm doing right now is pouring the powder into my applicator or whatever and I just apply it. Like I was saying, makeup is just how you go about it. Some people may use all the most sophisticated, expensive products and you see them and you want to run away. And some may just use normal without even know what they are doing. <laughs> So I just apply, 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 apply. Like this is not any serious makeup routine via like that. It's just a normal thing I'm doing. Just normal amateur makeup. I think anybody can do it. So at this point, I'm going to apply some eyeshadow. I'm not going to go through all the stress of concealing and blending and doing another thing to the eye, even though I am tempted to, but I know myself. <laughs> okay, let me just apply a little concealer here. Let me see what I'm doing. So that's the thing, the people here, some are nice, some are not. Some 
you sit in the bus and then they see you and they literally glare at you like some people just stare at you and they make you notice you are staring and what i do is when i see you staring at me i stare back <laughs> initially it really made me uncomfortable because i don't like maintaining eye contact like that for a long time but i was like okay it's a staring competition isn't it let's stare <laughs> so like, I also stare back, stare back, stare back at them when you're tired, you take off your eyes because I have not done anything to you. I'm just sitting in the bus with you, minding my own business. And there have been times where, like, you just sit next to somebody and immediately you sit down, they stand up. <laughs> because of me. Like, if you want to give me empty space, like extra space in the bus and the tell me I like you, give me extra big space. I can put my bag down or whatever I want. I can come and sit there. And I've really met very nice people, like I said, like my current landlord. Oh my god, she's such a blessing. I don't see her most of the time, but like she's very, a very, very nice person. I've met very nice flatmates. Like people are nice, okay? I've made very nice friends and all of that stuff. Like people are very, very nice. That's what I was saying. These are my experiences. And also, in every country, <laughs> There are good people, there are bad people. In Ghana, they're the same. So you don't make hasty generalizations based on one or two experiences from certain people. Okay, so yeah. And also the next thing, maybe the music and the nightlife here. <laughs> well, 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 I'm not much of a nightlife person. I like my own skills, but one thing I've noticed is that the nice life here is very vibrant, like very, very vibrant, especially during the summer. <laughs> during the summer, it's just so amazing. Okay, I think this looks nice. So I'm, I really don't know what color to use, but maybe I want something that blends with my dress, maybe on different parts of the color wheel. What color do you think I can use looking at my dress? I think this is a kimono thingy. I see green, I see pink. Maybe we'd use opposite colors on the color wheel. Charlie, I can't come and stress myself. You just do what we can do. So the nice life here is really buzzing. Like, there are so many. I think I need a natural mirror for this. So I'm actually beginning. I'm going to take in a, like it's brownish, like it's nude, like it's just a wine. When I apply it, you see. So I apply it. It's a very beautiful night. Like there are so many um, rude, rude bars, like clubs made from rude buildings that nobody really wants to start something with, just in case the owners come and say they want to do something with. So there are rude bars that are turned into clubs or pubs where you can go and hang out. There's there's also always a program happening somewhere like you can check them through facebook you can just search events happening in hungary you'll get something you can express interest and go there are pub calls yeah there's this gozdu gozdu uva like it's a stretch of this is like a junction like from one junction to another and the whole street is lined with pubs, restaurants, nightclubs, karaoke bars, like it's just a busy street throughout the night full of activity and all of that and I've heard stories of people, in fact I have met some people who just come here from the UK or from other European countries because they come here this year on a Friday <laughs> and then they just party till it's a Sunday evening or Monday and to go back go back to work. So the nightlife here is really thriving. It's beautiful and all of that. And the city itself at night is also very beautiful when you stand on the citadella and you see it. I have a video on my channel just about now of some of the views I captured from the citadella. Like you will never get bored. Even if you should just take a walk around town, you will never get bored. And also about 
one thing I also like to talk about would be my safety here in this country, more especially as a girl. There hasn't been any time I felt unsafe though, but there have been some times where I felt annoyed if I was hated. There was this time I was sitting in a tram, going somewhere, okay? And I was sitting in a particular spot in the tram. And all of a sudden, these men, they looked quite older and I think they were drunk. They just moved to the side of the tram where I was. I felt so uncomfortable. They were talking loudly, shouting, and they could do a reeking of alcohol. And then it was time for me to get down. Jeez. As I was getting down, one just slapped me on my butt. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know whether to shout, to scream, to... So I just glared at him. I blurred at him. If my eyes could... If my eyes could pierce, I think my... I look my look was just glaringly at him and I think it was around the time that I just come so I, I really wasn't sure what I could do I just, just didn't know what I could do and there, were, there weren't so many people in the tram at that time and I don't know if they looked on cons I don't know but I was getting off so so I just got off <laughs> and, and and I told myself that's the first and last the fact that I'm in your country and I really don't know what to do on certain things that's when you can take advantage of me but there was this other time, not so long ago, I was walking along the subway and this man deliberately came to touch my ass and he did it in such a way that you think it was an accident. Ah, but me, I knew it wasn't no freaking accident. <laughs> I immediately slammed him on the back. I just hit him and said, what, what did you do? Why did you do that? And I think he knew what he had done wrong, so he didn't say anything. I didn't do that. I'm like, good. I'm paying back for what the guy did the last time. It really hurt my soul. So I'm just going in, spreading my eyeshadow right about it, right about it. But aside those times, I've really felt very safe. Like, there's been times when I've been walking on the streets, sometimes alone, 2, 3 a.m. And... I really did not feel unsafe so it's pretty safe here for me I would say like working at night working at midnight you may ask well, what am I doing at midnight okay so then that brings me to my next topic about student jobs working as a student and all of that all of that all of that so to work as a student you can work a maximum of 20 hours to 24 hours a week I think no more than 24 hours so you can distribute it however you want if you want to work six days six hours for four days or eight hours for three days depending on whatever arrangement you make with where you're working so that was it so I had some student jobs I was doing and one of them <laughs> one of them you had to actually sometimes you have to start work at say 5 p.m and you are done by 2 or 6 p.m. you're done like 1 like I'm just trying to explain why I had to be out at that time yeah so maybe you, you go for a stock taking job stock taking is basically when one, a major supermarket just hires the service of students to come and count the number of products they have <laughs> can go to a shop and you just be counting stuff and all of that so there are actually so many job opportunities here for students to do but it's not easy because sometimes the language can be a barrier sometimes you are required to have some Hungarian German some of the own German speaking people French speaking people <laughs> unless maybe it's a warehouse job or a job where you would really have to communicate much but in as much, even though it's not easy getting a job here, when you get a good job here too, it's not that bad. Like you can get a job and you can also struggle to get a job. Like I know some people who have really struggled, struggled, struggled. They're not even getting student jobs. And I also know people who are just moving from one student job to another. So as a student here, you can work for no more than 20, 24 hours. But I think during the vacations, you can do more hours during summer breaks and all of that. So yeah, doing, when I was doing my internship, I used to do some more hours during vacations like that. But on other days, I do the, just the 20-hour thing. 
So I think what I've done to my eye is enough. I ain't no professional. I may be a professional in other things, but not doing my makeup. <laughs> so at this point, I think I'm done. I just want a very simple look. No, I, I'm, I have to do my lipstick. So, so before that, I think I'll just line my lip with my brown pencil. With my brown pencil. My lips feel so dry. That's why I share water in my lips. At this point, I'm just going to line my lip with a brown pencil. And after doing that, I'll apply my lipstick and lip gloss and whatnot, whatnot. So I'm going to do all of that off camera and then when you see me next time, I'll be done. So I'm back guys, I did a few changes and touch ups, I didn't really change anything, I just touched up as I said, added a little bit of lipstick, drew myself an eyeliner and so I'm just going to finish up with some mascara and then lip gloss. So basically these points I mentioned have been my experiences living here in Hungary as a student. Like I did say, everybody has different experiences, but also we're all different and we all experience things differently and we even react to things differently. So right now I'm applying my mascara and all of that so overall if you'd ask did i enjoy my stay here as a student of course yes i'm so grateful for the opportunities that i had in this country for the friendships i made for the people i met and all of that it's really been a good experience and i'm so happy i get to share with you thank you so much for watching and i wish you all a very beautiful day bye